let's explore how data is uploaded to Omero. There are several options to upload data to Omero. Here we introduce the most important ones. The typical way would be using Omero Importer. Omero Importer is integrated into the Omero Insight client that users install on their computer. It offers an easy and graphical user interface. Another option would be using the command line interface. For more details on this, see the Omero guides. For most users, we typically recommend using Omero Insight for data upload. But as a side note, it is good to know that there is also an option which is called in-place import. This can be done by an admin. In this case, the data is not actually uploaded to the file storage location in Omero, but an own file storage location can be attached to Omero. This has downsides, but also some benefits. Discuss this option with your administrator if it is required. Let's take a look on data upload using Omero Importer, for which you need to open Omero Insight on your computer. Log in with your login credentials. Be reminded that if you haven't previously adjusted the settings, you need to make sure that the server settings are correct by using the wrench icon. After logging in, you can upload data to Omero by using Omero Importer, which you can choose by clicking on the respective icon. To import data, you can search for the files in your local files on the computer. Navigate through the file browser and then choose either individual files or whole folders for upload. You can also restrict the search by looking for only specific file types, for example, only from Zeiss microscopes or others. Once finished, click on the arrow to begin moving the files or folders to the upload queue. As a next step, you have to choose the upload destination, so you can either choose an existing project and dataset or create a new one. In this window, you can either choose one of the existing projects and datasets or create the new ones. As a reminder, this is how the data eventually would look in Omero. You have the project level, represented by blue folder icons, and the dataset level, represented by green icons, whereas you can see the individual images in datasets in gray icons. Let's, for example, create a new project and a new dataset. Here we downloaded images from the Bioimage archive to show the process. Upon clicking New, in the lower hand window, you can choose the name and include a description optionally for your new dataset or project. Click Create to finish. Then you can finish this step by clicking Add to the queue. You will now find the data in the upload queue. Before clicking Import, you can change the import options or optionally also use the metadata editor, here called MDE. Once finished, click Import to start the process. You can now monitor the upload status and the success in the upload window. After that, you can close the Omero importer and inspect the files either in Omero Insight or in Omero Web. Our example in Omero Web looks like this. Here we uploaded data to the new dataset shown with the green folder icon. In this case, the image has multiple scenes, which is a specification of this imaging type. In the middle, we see the thumbnail previews of this image and the different scenes. And on the right hand side we see the metadata. Please be reminded that the original data is not changed, whatever we do here in Omero. It is only presented to you by the Omero software. If you would have used Metadata Editor, MDE, during the upload process, the additional metadata is shown under the key value pairs on the right hand side. Some notes that are relevant to users for data upload in Omero. The data is always stored in the original file formats so the raw data is conserved. The data location is not directly accessible for users via the file explorers, only via the clients through Omero. The exception would be the in-place import option mentioned in the beginning. As said, the data is never changed or corrupted by using Omero. The original data can also be retrieved again through Omero if desired, and you can also ask the admin for help. In most cases, the storage location is on a backed up secure server. Depending on your installation, typically, if storage runs out, the storage capacity can be increased. Please note that very large datasets might require some extra care, for which it makes sense to contact your facility or Omero administrator. Let's have a look again at the metadata. If we use the optional and intermediate step during the import, 
Omero MDE, then we can call up different metadata fields according to specific metadata formats and schemes. Please review the original paper on this shown at the bottom of the page. Here we can edit the metadata of individual files or of the whole import queue in batch. This supports standardized, configurable metadata fields and even ontology callup. We will go into more detail on metadata curation in later chapters.